I was born in 1943 on the bank of a creek at Elmont, Texas. And by the time the doctor got there, my grandmother had done birth me. They had me wrapped in a blanket and stuck in a kerosene oven. With not, no, they didn't shut the door, they just put me on the door in front of the oven there. And to this day, my friends say that's the reason I'm like, I am a half baked. I'm a 72 years old just to show you that old people can still fish. Don't let your age slow you down. I have been fishing about 60, 60, 61 years. It's just, you know, you're looking at a country boy, growed up, joined the Navy. I was in the Navy for six years and uh, that was good. I got to do things I would never have got to do if it hadn't been for the service. Uh, it taught me a lot of things. It's, play into my life today. I worked with the Sherman Fire Department and I worked there for 30 years. And the last about 10 years there, I got thinking, you know, you're gonna retire one of these days, you need something to make a little more money. So I began guiding. And I guided, I've guided for about 22 years. When I launch my boat, I have the feeling that I'm gonna catch fish. You know, I've got, I keep records. I've got spiral notebooks in there of all my fishing trips. Lake temperature, lake level, temperature, wind direction, sunny, cloudy, and what lures worked and how I was working them. And, you know, if it's that time of year, I'll look at and the conditions are similar. That's the same baits I'll start with. Guiding is a, it's a business that you have to have personality. If you come at them telling them, making them laugh and, you know, doing dumb things, I don't care who you are fishing. We all get backlashes, we all break rods, we all fall out of the boat. I work for a good company that makes lots of lures and I try to teach them how to use our lures. But uh, I like the silence, I like the solitude, I like the fact that I, I'm competing against something that's got a pea-sized brain and I've got this huge cranium up here and it's smarter than I am. Uh, you know, fishing is just you against them. You've got to figure out what they want. And so it's a thinking game. It's a peaceful game. And, uh, you know, it's never, it's never the same. I tell everybody, I said, look around, uh, look around real good today because you'll never see this day again. Take each day as it comes. That's my, that's my outlook on life. Uh, if you have friends that are a little bit disabled or they're a veteran or something and they don't have a boat, don't have a carom fishing. If you've got kids, they're, they're our hope for a future. Take a, chill, take a child fishing. If you don't have a child, get the neighbor's kid. But I'd say the Bomber 6A is the best, easiest to use and most reliable. It works at night, it works at day, it works in the rocks. You can't hardly do nothing wrong. You throw it out and reel it in, it catches a fish. I started out with bomber lures. I still hold them in very high esteem. The thing that made bomber was they listened to the fishermen. They had good promotion. They didn't try to be the king of the block right off the bat. They had good, good management. And they had loyal workers. I think that's what made me, and to this day I still appreciate bomber like it.